Before watching the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel and enable bell notification to never miss an update from us. Hello everyone, good morning all of you. This is Ashima Shukla, your current affairs and banking awareness faculty on Entry Platform. And in this video, we'll be talking about the daily news events or current affairs. The discussion is going to involve all the major news events that have taken place in the past days. The discussion is going to involve all the important news events and we are going to cover all the major events that have occurred recently in a short crisp news events format so that you get the updates required for your note making whereas those who want to practice questions you can take a free live quiz that happens on entry app and via that quiz you'll be able to get your daily dose of practice Starting on the discussion, the first news event is India State of Forest Report 2021. Now, ISFR, India State of Forest Report, is released by Forest Survey of India. It is a biennial report, that is, it comes out every two years. The first time it came out, it was in 1987, and since then it has been released every two years. Now, it assesses the country's forest resources, India's forest cover and tree cover, as per the recent report, that is for 2021, has increased by 2,261 square kilometers as compared to the assessment of 2019, the last time this was there. This includes 1,540 square kilometers in forest cover, 721 square kilometer in the tree cover. So overall, 2,261. So currently, the forest and tree cover in India that you need to remember is important and may be asked is 8,9537 square kilometers. The total forest cover is 7,13,789 square kilometers, which is approximately 21.71% of the geographical area of India. The tree cover is 95,748 square kilometers, which is approximately 2.91% of the geographical area of India. Total forest and tree cover in country is 80.9 million hectares or 24.62% of the geographical area of the country. The top five states in terms of increase, now this is in terms of increase in forest cover. So maximum increase was seen in Andhra Pradesh, increase of 647 square kilometers, then was Telangana, Odisha, Karnataka and Jharkhand. This is in terms of increase in forest cover, whereas how much area is covered? in forest and area wise we have Madhya Pradesh which has the largest forest cover in the country that is uh, then followed by Arunachal, then Chhattisgarh, then Odisha and Maharashtra. These are the top five states in terms of forest cover in the country. Right. So in the terms of geographical area we see maximum forest cover is in Madhya Pradesh. Now in terms of um, forest cover as a percentage, forest cover as a percentage of total geographical area, Mizoram has maximum that is 84.53% of Mizoram is under forest. Arunachal Pradesh 79.33% of the state is under forest cover. Meghalaya 76%, Manipur 74.34%, Nagaland. So you can see all the northeastern states, their maximum area is covered in forest. Mangrove cover in the country recorded an increase of 17 kilometers square as compared to 2019. So now the forest, the mangrove cover is 4,992 square kilometers. Top three states in terms of increase in mangrove cover is Odisha with 8 square kilometers square increase, Maharashtra with 4 kilometers square increase and Karnataka with 3 kilometers square increase. Total carbon stock in forest is estimated at 7,204 million tons, which includes an increase of 79.4 million tons in the carbon stock in 2021 compared to 2019. Then we have a few one-liners. The first is Prime Minister Modi ji inaugurated 
11 new government medical colleges and a new campus of Central Institute of Classical Tamil in Tamil Nadu. He inaugurated 11 new government medical colleges and the campus in the state of Tamil Nadu with an estimated cost of about 4,080 crore rupees. That is an estimated cost, including 2,145 crore, which was given by union government and the rest by the state government. Now, where is the CICT or Central Institute of Classical Tamil inaugurated? This has been set up near Chennai in Perumbakkam. If it is asked, in Perumbakkam in Chennai it has been inaugurated. India's first heli hub with all aviation facilities is proposed to be built at Gurugram in Haryana. It was announced by Haryana Deputy Chief Minister Dushyant Chautalaji. It is the first of its kind heli hub which has all facilities at one place for helicopters like helicopter, hangar, maintenance of air taxis, chartered helicopters, everything. Kochi has become India's first city to have a water metro project after the first in a series of battery-powered electric boats launched recently. New project will be operated by Kochi Metro Rail Cooperation, connecting 10 islands on the identified network route of 76 kilometers. Industrialist Gautam Adani led Adani Group and South Korea's largest steelmaker POSCO have signed a non-binding memorandum of understanding to explore business opportunities in India. It includes establishment of a green environment friendly integrated steel mill in Mundra in Gujarat. The estimated investment is 5 billion US dollars or about 37,000 crore rupees. Now, the non-binding MOU is also to collaborate on various business level in other sectors like in renewable energy, hydrogen energy, logistics and carbon reduction requirements. GDP growth forecast in Indian fiscal year 2022 is estimated to grow at 6.5% as per United Nations World Economic Situation and Prospects or WESP report. WESP report is released by United Nations. Now, in this, there were certain other predictions also which were given. First of all, before we go ahead, who released this? This report was released by UNDESA, U-N-D-E-S-A, United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs. For financial year 23, it is at 5.9%. Then on the basis of calendar year, the 2021 was expected at 9%, 2022 expected at 6.7%. Then we have the global economy. In global economy, 2021 calendar year 5.5%, 2022 calendar year 4% projection has been put forward. Reserve Bank of India has approved the appointment of Ittira Davis as a MD and CEO of Ujjivan Small Finance Bank for a duration of one year. Senior rocket scientist H. Somanath has been appointed as the new chairman of Indian Space Research Organization and secretary in Department of Science. So, K. Sivanji's successor is Dr. S. Somanath ji, who will be taking over, who has already taken over actually, he took over on 15th of January and the duration of appointment is three years. Before this, he was in which center? He was in Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. He was a director of Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. Arundhati Bhattacharya, former chair of State Bank of India, has come out with her new book called Indomitable, a working woman's notes on work, life and leadership, in which she's talking about her life as a banker, the challenges in the industry, which is predominantly male-dominated. Prime Minister Modi ji inaugurated MSME Technology Centre in Puducherry in a virtual format which is going to function under the My Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises and um, this is uh, this has been developed with an approximate fund of 122 crore rupees. And he also inaugurated um, Peruntaliyar Kamarajar Mani Mandirpam in Puducherry.
National Bank of Agriculture and Rural Development or NABARD entered into a partnership agreement with Artheme Pact Digital Loans. They have partnered to provide end-to-end -end fintech solutions and offer supports like skills, microfinancial services and other such for small health groups, SHGs, self-help groups. Global Private Banking Awards 2021 were organized by Professional Wealth Management PWM in a virtual mode. Best Private Bank in India Award was given to HDFC Bank in that award ceremony. And in that, there were awards basically for, uh, you know, efforts or contributions made by financial institutions in social governance and economic or ESG strategies. Rajkumar Rauji has been appointed as brand ambassador of Renew by it's an online insurance platform and this appointment is for the first 360 degree consumer advertising campaign based on smart tech right advice and highlights consumers insurance needs. Daniel Ortega has been appointed as the president of Nicaragua recently. Nepal Power Exchange Limited has signed an agreement with India's Money Current Power Limited for the purpose of energy trading agreement was signed to sell electricity generated by domestic private sector in India via India's Manikaran Power Limited. Adani Group has signed MOU with South Korea's largest steel maker Pos uh, POSCO, which we have already done. Chennai International Airport was ranked 8th in the on-time performance for the year 2021 as per the review by Sirium. First position was marked by Miami Airport in United States. The second position was of Fukuana Airport of Japan and Haneda Airport of Japan. So, so both the Japanese airport at second and third position. First was US and India's highest was Chennai International Airport for eighth position. Pay Your Finances Buy Now Pay Later solution called Lazy Pay has partnered with SBM Bank. They have partnered to launch Lazy Card, which is a prepaid payment instrument. And it is predicted that it will reach about 62 million pre-approved users. The credit limit on this is going to be 5 lakh rupees. And there is zero joining fees, zero annual fees. National Competition of India Skills 2021 concluded recently, which observed the participation of more than 200 participants. The participants were felicitated by Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. Odisha topped in the India Skills 2021 contest by winning 51 medals. Second position marked by Maharashtra winning 30 medals. Third position marked by Kerala by winning 25 medals. This whole was organized by National Skill Development Corporation of India and the winners are going to compete in World Skills International Competition. Now, where will the World Skills Competition be held? World Skill International or World Skills International Competition will be held in Shanghai in China. So in Shanghai in China, it is going to be organized in 2022 in the month of October. 18th edition of Kachai Lemon Festival, which is held in Manipur, was organized on 13th and 14th of January with the theme Organic Kachai Lemon for Safe Environment and Rural Transformation. It's an annual festival organized by Manipur to promote the unique lemon fruit and also encourage the lemon farmers to produce it. India has announced a financial assistance of 900 million US dollars loan to Sri Lanka to help in building its depleted foreign reserves and food imports. And how is it going to be done from the side of India? Via Reserve Bank of India. As per the weekly RBI data, foreign exchange of forex reserves of India have declined by 878 million US dollars. They have come down to 632.736 billion in the last week. Decline is due, uh, due to fall in gold reserves and foreign currency assets. India's reserve position with IMF has dipped by 5 million and is now at 5.202 billion US dollars. And gold reserves have also come down. SDR with IMF has fallen by 16 million and is now at 19.098 billion US dollars. 
small business focused online lending platform indie fee technologies has collaborated with google pay to provide instant loans to eligible msme my medium small and medium enterprises a uh, micro small so it should be eligible my grow small and medium enterprises merchant through the google pay platform philippine has become the first foreign country to place order on the purchase of brahmos shore based cruise missile system for its navy estimated deal cost is 3 749 million us dollars and this is uh, going to be by brahmos aerospace Uh, space private limited who is going to fulfill the demand international committee of sports for deaf icsd has given approval for all india sports council of deaf to organize world deaf t20 cricket championship in 2023 the first world deaf t20 cricket championship is going to be organized in trivandrum in kerala from 10th of january to 20th of january 2023 india will be hosting this event for the first time and minimum 8 minimum 8 countries are expected to join in this With this, we'll be winding up the segment, and I hope this session has been helpful. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day ahead.